CIET NCERT presents audiobook of environmental studies textbook for class 4 entitled looking around this is the chapter 23 Pochampalli from page 186 to page 190 page 186 Vani and Prasad live in a village called Muktapur. Their home is always filled with bundles of bright colored threads. Their mother and father and everyone else in the family are weavers. The weaving that they do is very beautiful and special. Muktapur village is in the Pochampalli town, Mandal of Telangana. Most of the families in this town are weavers. That is why the special cloth that they weave is called Pocham Palli. The villagers have been doing this work for a long time. Vani and Prasad's parents learnt weaving from their elders. For the teacher, make the children aware that most traditional arts are learnt at home. There are many different handicrafts to be learnt like Pocham Palli. You could discuss other traditional occupations like carpet weaving, toy making, itra production, etc. Page 187 This page shows a big picture as a collage in which there are smaller pictures depicting the process of making Pocham Palli saris. Page 188 Now Vani and Prasad also help their parents after coming back from school. This weaving requires hard work and many different things have to be done before actually weaving. From thread to cloth Father brings bundles of thread from Pochampalli town. Mother then puts these threads in boiling water to wash away the dirt and stains. Then everybody works to dye the thread with bright colours. These threads are then dried and rolled into bundles. These bundles are put onto looms and the cloth is woven. Silk cloth and silk saris are woven from the silk thread. Cotton thread is used to weave cotton saris, cloth, sheets, etc. The loom has many needles. The size and number of the needles changes according to the design. The weavers weave the beautiful pocham palli saris in bright colors. Through their traditional craft, they have made their region world famous. A craft in danger. Great skill is needed to weave such special saris. It also takes many days of hard labor. After all this, it is difficult to get a good price for these saris. Silk is becoming expensive day by day. Big shopkeepers give very little money for the saris, though they themselves sell them at very high price. That is why many weavers are giving up their family craft. Many are leaving their villages to work as labourers in big cities. We need to solve this problem by helping them get a better price. Otherwise, this precious craft will be lost forever. For the teacher, in many traditional occupations, different kind of tools and skills are used. Emphasize that the entire family participates in making one thing and that everybody has different responsibilities and duties. Page 189 Discuss Vani and Prasad learnt this beautiful craft from their family members. When they grow up, do you think they will be able to teach their children the skills of this craft? Write in your notebook. Have you ever seen anybody weave something on a loom? What were they weaving and where? 
the threads of a sari are dyed. Do you know of any other thing that is dyed? If you visit Vani's village, it seems as if the entire village is weaving saris. Do you know of any other work which many people living in one place do? Do they make some article? Find out the process of making the article. What are the different steps? Do men and women do different kinds of work to make this article? Do children also contribute in making this article? Find out and write. Talk to an ironsmith, a carpenter and a potter about the nature of their work. Write your answer in the blank space provided. Where did they learn to do their work? Give your answer in the space provided. Page 190 What else did they need to learn to be able to do this work? Write your answer in the blank space. Have they taught this work to anybody in their family or to anyone else? Give your answer in the space provided. The table below has a list of different kinds of work that people do. Do you know people who do such work? Write their names in the first column. In the next column, write from whom have they learnt their work. There are three columns in the table. The first one says, Kind of work. Below this, we have many different kinds of work. Cloth weaving, cooking, cycle repair, flying aeroplanes, sewing and embroidery, singing, making shoes, flying kites, farming, cutting hair. The second column has the heading, Name of people you know who do this work. Against first item of cloth weaving, we have the name Prasad and Vani's parents already written as an example. You have to fill in the rest of the rows. The third column says, Where did they learn this work from? Again, the first row is filled with the answer, From their elders. You need to fill the rest of the rows similarly. For the teacher, there are many places like Pochampalli in India that are famous for making special things. These things have become famous by the name of the place where they are made, like Kullu shawls, Madhubani paintings, Assam silk, Kashmiri embroidery, etc. Do you know any more examples? Discuss this in the class. The chapter 23 of total 27 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India